You know, there's nothing easy about today. Um, I had the privilege, pleasure, uh, along with my wife, of doing a pre uh, time with this couple, along with some others, and then doing their wedding. Um, it certainly wasn't something I ever planned to be doing today. But I thought of a scripture, and I wanted to share it maybe just a little bit different than you've ever thought of it before, but in Psalms 116, it says, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. The problem with that scripture is it's not precious to us. Let's just face it. It's uncertain. It's filled with pain and difficulty. It, it really portrays the difficulty of understanding something we've never experienced and we've never really fully grasped or faced as individuals. But it shows our reaction to it, the preciousness of an individual. It shows us how deeply we've loved. It shows us how rare an individual is. And I will say this about Hillary. Um, Hillary was childlike intelligence <laughs> for me, rolled into one. She was so sweetly open and would say things when we would be in gatherings together that would be like, man, this is a really smart girl. This is a really smart girl. Talk about perspective. You know, you'd be looking at something from this angle and she'd be down here talking about it and you'd go, this is a bright young girl, a bright young girl. And you see, it's all those sweet memories that make that scripture difficult to us. Now, if there is a God, and if he has created us, and if she was in relationship with him, then to him, it's precious. But he fully understands how difficult it is to us. The question of where Hillary is, in my mind, I know Jeremy's mind, in our hearts, many that are here today, where she is is not in question. She had many understandings of where she was going and was at peace, believe it or not, with something that many of us are not at peace with. And that's leaving this earth, taking her last breath. In her mind and heart, as we've talked and I, I knew her well, she had come to understand the brevity of life. And she came to understand that this was to be cherished, but there was some day she was going to be in a different place. And knowing Hillary, and that inquisitive mind she had, I think she's peppering God with a lot of questions right now. <laughs> See, our perspective is loss. And that's the way it should be. It's an indicator of love. It's an indicator of the value and the position that a person had in their lives. There are people dying all over the earth right now, but it doesn't affect you because they're not in your life and they're not important to you. So this pain, as difficult as it is, is an indicator of the importance of this individual. And we never want to shy away from that. We never want to walk away from that pain because that pain is something we need to embrace because it shows that deep importance of that individual. I'd like to read a, a poem many of you probably have heard from Henry Van Dyke called Gone From My Sight. I'm standing upon the seashore a ship at my side spreads her white sails to the moving breeze and starts for the blue ocean. She's an object of beauty and strength. I stand and watch until at length she hangs like a speck of white cloud just where the sea and the sky come to mingle with each other. Then someone at my side says, there, she's gone. Gone where? Gone from my sight. That is all. She's just as large in mass, hull and spar as she wore when she left my side. And she is just as able to bear her load of living weight to her destined port. Her diminished size is in me, not in her. And just as that moment when someone says, there she is gone, there are other eyes watching, watching her coming and other voices ready to take up the glad shout, here she comes. 
and that is done. Death is a perspective. Depending on your perspective, you have certain reactions to it. To God, it is one thing, and that is why he boldly says, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints, because he gets what he wants, somebody he's loved, if you truly believe that. It's peace in his mind. It's a new journey. It's a new adventure. I've often thought of us, none of us have certainly could even think before we were born. But as you were born, who knew what life held? You didn't know. You didn't have any experience. And as you grew, you got certain perspectives based on where you were in life. To us, death is an uncertainty. We have nothing to compare it to. It's an adventure we've never been on. And it's one that you'll only experience one, one time. And to come back and talk about it is not the norm. But I want to comfort us with these words that if we believe that Jesus Christ was risen from the dead for a particular reason, and that was so we could experience this journey of life, but not only life, but death well, death as well, because it's something, it's the inevitability facing each and every one of us. I just want to close with this scripture. If we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep in Jesus. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with him in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words.